Hello students. Now ratios don't have units on them. So when you're writing the ratio, one is to 100. Um, if you're talking about lengths, that means that, for example, one millimeter on a drawing represents 100 millimeters in real life. But it also means that one centimeter on the drawing represents 100 centimeters in real life. So ratios don't have units. However, occasionally, sometimes a question is given to us that includes units. And what we have to do is basically take a ratio that has units in it and rewrite it without units. So that's the purpose of this video here. Okay, now to start with, let's just do a quick review of length conversions. So I'll just change to my pen tool. So um, hopefully you learned back in primary school that one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. So if you want to convert three centimeters to millimeters, because you're going from big units to smaller units, that means we need to multiply. There's more millimeters um, in a given length than there are centimeters. Three times 10 is 30. So three centimeters converted to millimeters multiply by 10. If you're going from millimeters back to centimeters, well, again, because centimeters are larger, um, this answer has to be smaller than that. So that tells you you need to divide by 10. And 80 divided by 10 is 8. So 80 millimeters is the same, excuse me, the same length as 8 centimeters. Similar, similarly, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Therefore, 5 meters is going to be 5 times that or 500 centimeters. Working back the other way, 950 centimeters to convert that to meters, we need to divide by 100. And of course, dividing by 100 means you move your decimal point back two places, and that gives us 9.5 meters. And the last conversion for length, one kilometer is 1,000 meters, therefore three kilometers is 1,000 times that, or 3,000 meters. And working back the other way, meters to kilometers, we divide by 1,000. We have to move our decimal point to the left by three decimal places. And 800 meters is 0 0.8 kilometers. OK, looking at some other metric units, 1 liter is the same as 1,000 milliliters. Therefore, 7 liters multiplied by 7 is 7,000 milliliters. 600 milliliters converted to liters, we divide by 1,000. That gives us 0 0.6. Um, one kilometer, sorry, excuse me, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So 3.2 kilograms multiplied by 1,000 means the decimal point moves three places to the right to give us 3,200. There's 1,000 kilograms in a ton. So if we're converting kilograms to ton, again, this answer here, this number here has to be smaller than that. So therefore, we need to divide by 1,000. That gives us 3.5 tons. And not really a metric unit, but um, in Australia, one fortnight is the same as two weeks, and one week is the same as seven days. So let's convert um, 35 days into weeks. Well, we need to divide by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And there are two uh, fortnights in, sorry, two weeks in one fortnight. So to go from weeks to fortnights, we divide by 2. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So those are some of the uh, metric, sorry, some of the conversions that we're going to need to use. Most of them are metric. This bottom one, of course, isn't. Okay, let's apply this to some questions. So I'm going to do the first one, and then I want uh, you to try the, uh, the remaining ones. So here we've got a ratio with units, and we want to get rid of the units because ratios don't have units. So we've got the ratio 5 centimeters is to 3 millimeters. So the way you solve these is you actually convert them to the same unit, and once they're the same unit, we can just cross them out. So at the moment, I can't just cross them out because the units are different. Always choose the smaller unit, unless you really love working with decimals. So I'm going to keep that one as 3 millimeters. Um, one centimeter is 10 millimeters, so that's going to be 50 millimeters. 
And because the units are the same, we can say we can write the ratio just as 50 is to 3. In fact, I'll do the second one as well, because in this case, I didn't have to do any simplifying, and this one I do. So I'll go ahead and do two as examples and give you three to try on your own. Okay, 75 centimeters to 1.5 meters. So we got to get rid of the units. So we start by converting to the same unit, always choosing the smaller one. Centimeters is smaller than meters. So we're going to keep the 75 centimeters. And there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So multiply by 100. And that gives us 150 centimeters. Because the units are the same, we can cross them out. And the ratio is 75 to 150. And now we need to simplify that. And it turns out that uh, 150 is a multiple of 75. So we could just um, divide by 75 to simplify. 75 divide 75 is 1. 150 divide 75 is 2. And the ratio is 1 is to 2. OK, stop the video, have a go with the next three, and then check your answers, please. Okay, welcome back. Well, once again, we um, copy down the value or the measurement that has the smallest unit, which is grams, convert the other number to the same unit. So I've got to multiply by 1,000, so I get 3,200 grams. So the grams will cross out. And now I've got to simplify 600 is to 3,200. Well, to start with, divide by 100. That's going to give me 6 is to 32. Um, divide by 2. And 6 divide 2 is 3. 32 divide 2 is 16. And I think that gives us the answer in simplest form. There's no more common factors other than 1. OK, going to this one, we'll keep everything or write everything in milliliters. There's 1,000 milliliters in a liter, so that's going to be 6,000 milliliters. Um, we can cross out the milliliters. We can divide by 100, and we get 60 is to 5, and 5 goes into 60 12 times, so that simplifies to 12 is to 1. And the last one. Once again, we got one of these questions involving days, weeks, and fortnights. Let's convert everything into days. So we've got four days. Seven times four, four weeks is 28 days. And one fortnight is 14 days. So now that we've got the same units, we can cross the units out. And we have 4 is to 28 is to 14. And I need to simplify that. They're all even numbers. So what I can do is divide by 2. That gives me 2 is to 14 is to 7. And that is as simple as we can make it. And that's the answer. So if you have a ratio that does have units, because the question that we're solving had units in the question, um, convert to the same units. Always choose the smaller unit to avoid decimals, and then simplify. So overall, once you practice these a bit, uh, pretty straightforward.